He's been doing a really good job recruiting freshmen, growing the club, getting them out to tournaments, and Trenko is just one of these gems that like came to Tufts and Chris brought him out. Now he's sure. coming out and getting fifth minimum at BSBs. That's yeah. pretty solid. Yeah, absolutely, but let's get into these losers' quarters here. We got Doucette and Trenko, like we mentioned. Uh, so starting on PS2, and I feel like a big issue uh, in this matchup is going to be Rob falls victim to a lot of the same stuff he does in the Mario matchup. Yes, these combos. You know, um, you know he'll get hit. Uh, because it's really hard to successfully zone out like kind of these tiny, fast, nimble characters. Uh, he'll get hit and he'll take like 100 damage. Yeah. So we've got to see how uh, Doucette's going to deal with that. Same kind of concept that we saw against Mario. Let's see if he's improving a little. Well, I like that attempt at falling up there. That's kind of clean if he hits it, but unfortunately for him, not going to be It the is, but like I feel like all the Robs try to force that joint way too much. Yeah, you're like, right. <laughs> like they're all just like, yo, it would be lit if I hit landed landing up air right now. And I'm just like, yeah. Oh. You could also just not get punished. Yeah, and Trenko, That's what I would do, but hey. Tranko you know. off to a very good start here. I mean, um, but Doucette swiftly bringing sure. it back. This could be it, as that should be. Good air dodge. Yep. Wins the 50-50 right there, but got to, get, uh, got to get off the ledge now. And that backer will catch him. Yeah, for sure. Amazing uh, quick attack angle right there. That's actually pretty hard to do from that position. Yeah, Tranko, Tranko no slouch at these angles. Now throw him two. Up reads air, the two uh, Yeah, reads the immediate match there. Good stuff from Doucette, and he has a lead here. Uh, but ultimately, what's, what's going to come down to is uh, how long he can hold on to it. Narrowly avoids that forward air. Oh, I really like that uh, back air from Trenko. And I even li I like that uh, side B from Doucette even more. However, Trenko will be able to make it back. Yeah, no. Okay, so I will say I would like to see an up smash from Trenko right there. Because if you were reading roll away anyway, uh, then you might as well go with the more powerful option, I feel like. Yeah, but, that's uh, true. That's just me. That dash just attack, me. though, is just way safer. And speaking of dash attack, oh, wow. I am <laughs> astonished that that killed too. Well, I was just, at first I was astonished that it didn't kill, and then I was astonished that it did kill and after. It kept going. Yeah. yeah. But got that back air. Let's see how much he's going to be off something. Of it. Good recognition to actually get some double jump back air there uh, as you said, DI'd up on the first one. Yes. Trenko really good at. Uh, a block here. Tries to go for the uh, up tilt to drag down there, but not going to be able to connect it. Things are looking just about as even as they can be. Yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely think that uh, I could say this is slightly in Rob's favor just because I don't feel like Pikachu is really going to kill you right now. He's either going to kill you at zero or like at a normal character percentage. He's not yeah. really going to kill you particularly early otherwise. Tranko's trying his hardest though. That off stage right there, he's throwing out kill moves willy nilly. Yeah, for sure. Got that uh, gyro into the back air here. Now we got to get off the ledge. Nice take gyro there. Uh, good play, for sure. No jab lag. Isn't quite able to react to the tech in though. Yeah. Goes for these down airs. What, what did he get hit by? What did he get hit by? What? Hello? Yeah, we gotta we gotta get a replay on that dog. Like, yeah. Um, I don't even know what move killed him. I don't think I didn't think Rob had anything that was that fast and I think sent at that angle. Back but like, air, maybe. But that's gonna be an. Unfortunate but we would have seen the end lag of that though, because he was on the screen. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it was forward air. Oh, that's not that strong, though. I mean, regardless, uh, Trinko was going to SD, and uh, you know, Dusa's going to take the first game. Um, but holy shit, man! <laughs> uh, so, what kind of counter pick are we thinking we're going to see here? Um, I know Pikachu doesn't really have bad stages per se. Yeah, we. I'm going to want to see the uh, banning of what you call it, the banning of Kalos from. Three, two, one, go. Damn. Okay. okay, so RTS, Dolan, Brandon, and who's the other top eight seed that got upset outside? Captain Q? Is he top eight seed? Yeah, I think I he was like eight. He I think he was be. eight. Yeah, like lower top eight, <laughs> given who we got here. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. No, definitely lots of upsets uh, at this BSB for show. For show. I was expecting him to go for a fender right there. <laughs> and he have. gets another he, uh, one. Yeah, just the two set the, classic. I feel like at that point, you know, if you see him lining up for it, I feel like he'd rather almost just like hang on the ledge and just take the hit, you know? Also, I want to um, shout out Lunar Tier, my goat. Good shit. He beat Roka. Yep, for that's, sure. And now he's going to be on the other side of Loser's Quarters after this set fighting Exile. It's going to be Aegis and Bowser. That's going to be a set to remember. Yeah, for sure. Of course, Corey could just hit him with the Corey factor and uh, 2 0 him real quick. But, yeah, that is the Corey factor. Um, but, you know, if he, if he doesn't, it's going to be a lit set. Right, nice. Uh, Corey is simultaneously amazing. one of the most and the least upsettable good players around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. 
definitely uh, not one I would call super consistent. Yeah. Because, um, you know, he will, uh, he will uh, definitely make some upsets I here and there, but then sometimes, you know, he'll get put in a pack by Skippy32. So oh, like, yeah. You know, Skippy32, my goat. Don't be sleeping on the goat. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, we, uh, we're looking at a s solid lead by Doucette here, and he's really just oh, yeah. doing a great job keeping Tranko out. I believe Dash Attack will kill at this percent, however. Uh, on Pichu, yeah, for sure. Probably a little bit stage uh, dependent, but on most of the stage, it definitely would. Um, like such as right there. there. Calling um, out the jump and not great DI is going to result yeah, in a lost was... stock by Big Deuce. And can sure he make that. something happen here? No. no, not quite. That was a really awkward positioning on the first back air for Big yeah. to get anything else off of it. Um, so really, I think Trico really did his, you know, the best he could right there. Quick attack here. So I'm curious, um, you seem to know more than I do, what kind of, uh, you know, characters they have over at the, uh, tough scene, you know, like, is this a matchup so, that you'd expect Trico to be really practiced in? I what? don't think so. I do know they have quite a few Yoshis. Oh, and the double thunder gonna nice put Tranko back in the lead. Good job. Good job. Uh, they have Virgo, of course, the Shulk. They have Tranko, the Pika. And I think they have two Yoshis, Lightning and someone else. Uh, Elon, something oh, like that. Back up. Not oh, and Ware picked the DK. Oh, he goes there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And Tranko all of a sudden, healthy, healthy uh, amount of percent building right here. Okay, we just saw the intended use of. Uh, Arm rotor right there. Yeah, to reflect to that. Reflect uh, that T-Jolt. I um, think he was trying to reflect the T-Jolt and like just call and out potentially him also like space. hit him. Yeah. yeah. But uh, 170. That's not really something you want to see as this Rob player here. Yeah, not great. You know, definitely you're one of the characters that has an easier time uh, kind of landing these hits on Pikachu uh, that are gonna kill him. But you know, as he climbs to 178 percent. And that Nair Finally. will will eventually do it. Yeah, see, and now here's where if you're Trinko, you have to be a little bit scared because if, because, uh, you know, you definitely could get hit um, you know, by one of those gyro extensions. And uh, with all this range, definitely could be the end of your stuff. So got to watch out for that. Play a little bit carefully. Um, but definitely do have a solid lead here to work yeah. with. Yeah, we're going to have to see. I like this just T jolting. Yeah, for sure. As long as he doesn't get, like, outpaced here, it's his game. Ooh, great catch on the gyro and oh this is okay good uh he knew he knew he attack. wanted yeah. the down air he did not want that joint to happen to him again yeah he did not I, want literally it to him. him Doucette, um, and both commentators thought of it yeah he did not want it to be him again um Doucette playing quite evasively here which i like yeah for sure i mean you kind of have to because now you're at the point where uh pikachu's normal moves are going to kill you Oh, and yeah, goes, goes for, for the call out. Yeah, tries to read that double jump there, but you set, or, uh, Trinko not quite going to give it up for him. No, indeed. And that high recovery going to allow him to live another day, continue with this lead, and ooh, attempted F smash, but will get stuffed up by the Nair. Yeah, for sure. You know, this isn't looking, uh, you know, at first glance, it's not looking super great uh, for Doucette, but you got to remember, uh, most of the damage Doucette's done in the last minute has been basically unanswered by Trinko. And now we're basically back to an even oh. game. This could be it. Oh, no, he's fine. Now, reads the uh, the right mash timing, but doesn't get the entire Oh, and the dash attack will do it. it. Yeah. Good, good, good. Job by Tronco, not letting that one slip out of his hands. Yeah, for sure. That definitely looked a little bit spooky there at the end, but he made it, uh, you know, put it back together and made it work for him. So, good stuff there. Let's see what kind of counter pick we can expect for this game number three. Let us see. Well, looks like we're going to be going directly back to Hollow Bastion. Slight music counter pick, but uh, wouldn't expect either of these guys to change characters. No, I would not. Yeah, Staying the same. the same. Thing. So for this last game, uh, we're going to be going right back to Hollow Bastion. So what do you think? Um, what do you think? Uh, what kind of adaptations do you think we're going to see here? I think we're going to see Set. He had the lead a lot, like most of that game, yeah. and he just got double thundered. So I think we're going to see him being a little bit more cautious in a disadvantage here is the main thing I would like to see at least. Yeah, no, for sure. I can definitely see that. Definitely can see that being a little bit of a rewarding strategy for him to show. Honestly, I just want to see this continued right, neutral from Doucette. He's see, now you're going to die. Okay. <laughs> it's like... You're gonna take mad damage. Like, don't, don't do that. Oh, okay. And good thunder spike yeah, here. Actually, suicides gonna, with. Gonna, him. Uh, take both stocks. Yeah. I think I think I like that from Tranko. 
the dude. more uh, like time he has, or the less oh, time Rob has to mount B, the and that's back. not quite going to be it. Quite enough percent here on this Pikachu. Good forward air. Dash tag. The dash tag realizing a little bit too far away to get that back air follow up. Oh, hello. Custom combinations here now. Yes, combinations indeed. Nice parry, but does not have enough time to get the back air out. Uh, so we do have a slight lead here uh, for Trinko. Um, I definitely would say, um, you know, given the percents here, I definitely, you know, if another opportunity for a Thunder uh, double kill comes up, I definitely would say, like, honestly, I'd take it. Um, Cause like yeah, you're yeah. even, but also like I feel like Rob has a much easier time killing you right now if you're Pikachu than you have killing him. Yeah, uh, Pikachu's gonna need to get like 30, 20 more percent on before these dash attacks start killing. Him. Yeah, and like you can get up smash, but like you have, you gotta catch Rob jumping, and as we all know, that's like not the easiest thing in the world. So, oh, oh wow! Great job by two set punching yeah, so my the, side. Uh, beat. Yeah, the gyro actually will sit in dirty. the direction uh, that Rob is facing, so he actually turned around there uh, before he put it down. Uh, so that it would be able to launch him into that up smash. Good thinking there from Doucette. And that down smash, swiftly going to take the stock with only 9% extra credit. If I'm trying to I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, that's true. I believe that is all right. Especially because, you know, at that 0%, you know, Rob's at prime combo percent for stuff like this to happen. Up air, not quite going to be able to get the thunder as he does DI away. But it's good DI by Doucette here. Yeah, for sure. I'm surprised that didn't poke, actually, before Me too. I'm trading blows back and forth. Trenko edging out a slight lead here. We're going to have to see how he capitalized with this edge guard, though. Yeah, for sure. Definitely uh, has a whole tank of gas and his double jump left, so he's going to make it back to the ledge totally fine. But, yeah, yes. see, that, the important thing about that is now it puts him in a situation where he's going to have a little bit less gas to come back every other time. Uh, that he has to recover. Yes, or at least now. Uh, well, not now. Yeah. Because, yeah, now he's got it all back. Uh, but, during uh, the ledge trap, though, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. He wasn't quite able to make probably oh. what he wanted to have happen there. Um, yeah, oh, that, great back air. Yeah, for sure. But I also do love these quick attacks actually going over um, Doucette's ledge and trapping. That gr that's a great call out on the jump. <laughs> nice gyro catch. Yeah, definitely would have taken that stock had uh, Hilly not back aired right there. I don't know if Jaro was killing me. Oh, good roll! Oh, that's, that's gonna, gonna do it. it, though. Wow, great yep. set by these two. And Shrinko, I definitely would say uh, that is a little bit of an upset in my book. For oh, sure. for sure. For um, sure. 